Hi everyone, welcome to Stretch and Release. I'm Wade. Today we're going to be working a lot on quads, hip flexors, um, a little bit through the inner thigh, and if we have a little bit of time, we'll also do some through the chest. But as we get started right now, you'll need a foam roller. You can also do this with a lacrosse ball, with a tennis ball, or a softball. Um, that tennis ball might be just a little bit too soft, but it's definitely an option if you need it. So I'm going to choose to do a foam roller here, and we're going to do one leg at a time. So if you are choosing that ball, um, that soft ball will get in a little bit deeper, and that lacrosse ball will also be a little bit more targeted and a little deeper. We're going to roll your right quad. So on the foam roller, sending that quad off to the side a little bit. And we're going to start with straight legs, keeping your hips down, stretching or rolling right now all the way from your knee up to the top of your hips. So what we're looking to do as you roll out that right quad, we're rolling all the way from the knee all the way up to that bottom part of your ribs is where your hip flexors and your quads are all kind of working right now. So with the foam roller and with that ball, um, it is a little harder to get in that abdomen area. So you're stopping right there around the hips, going all the way from the knee up there, spending your time going slow. If you're choosing any of those options, instead of rolling your body around that foam roller or around that ball, you're welcome to adapt your foot a little bit. Sometimes if you find a spot, lifting that leg up and down can make a big difference and digging in there a little bit deeper. So most people will have spots closer to the knee or possibly in the hips. Um, but if you have spots anywhere in there, adjusting your leg around can help you dig in there a little bit deeper. Go ahead and switch sides. Going to your left side next. And if you need to pause this, you found a spot. Um, some of those spots hanging out there for 30 to 60 seconds can be a good idea. So if you're spending 60 seconds on one spot and you found another one, you can always click pause. Um, take your time going through your quads, your hip flexors, doing what you need to do, and then come join us when you're ready. So this is here for you all the time. You don't have to be doing it here live with us. But as you're rolling that left leg out, lifting it up and down if you need to, and even sometimes rotating your foot can help you hit different muscles there in that quad. Um, if you can guess, there's four muscles in that quad. And then once you finish that left side, we're also going to do some inner thigh today. So putting that foam roller sideways, and you're going to be sprawling your right leg out on it. Right now you're trying to hit right here on the inner thigh. So sprawling that leg out, and coming all the way up into the hips, and then all the way down to the knee. So out of everywhere you can foam roll, this is going to be one of the most sensitive. And that foam roller is going to be going just like that across. Um, you'll have a lot of sensitivity close to the hips and then close to the knee as well. There's a lot of nerve endings here in the inner thigh, but this is one important area to spend a little extra time going over. So again, if you want to spend a little longer, just click that pause button and then join me on the other side when you're ready. So switching sides and then doing that however long you need to, finding those spots that might feel a little tender for you. And if you find those tender spots hanging out there for 30 to 60 seconds. And if you found that spot, you can rock back and forth a little bit. You can just keep pressure on there. Uh, one thing I'll tell people sometimes is try and think of it like you're rolling dough and your muscles, the dough. If you want to just kind of slowly smush that down, you found a hard spot in the dough, try and dig it in there a little bit. You can gently rock it, but to get a little bit deeper and to get that knot out, it's not as helpful to go big as it is to go small. But once you finish that left side, we're about done foam rolling there. We'll move into our next stretch, which is gonna be a butterfly stretch. And there are a whole lot of ways to do this butterfly stretch. We're gonna do two today. The first one we're gonna choose is bringing those feet close, keeping your head tall with your stomach tight. And this version, as you're lowering yourself down, you want to keep your head as tall as you can. So. Right now, lift your head tall towards the ceiling, towards the sky, wherever you happen to be doing this. Feet in close, stomach tight, chest out. And instead of lowering your head down, lowering yourself down, try and imagine a string coming from your chest, tied to your toes, that's slowly lowering you down. So as you bend, go ahead and keep doing that. As you bend, you'll find that your whole body is shifting forward instead of just rounding forward and sinking in. So, that's gonna, you'll feel that a whole lot through the hip flexors, through the hip abductors and the inner thigh. 
but that's gonna help posture. Um, it's helping keep your stomach tight as we rock forward and keeping that stretch just a little more isolated where we want it. Give that about five more seconds and then we'll move on to our next one that will be just a little bit slower. And this one I'm gonna kinda of talk you through a few different options and variations for. We'll spend a little extra time on this one. This is called a couch stretch. It's my favorite quad stretch. Um, there's a whole lot of ways to stretch the quad. This one has a little bit less pressure on the knee. Even though you may feel pressure on the knee because it's on the ground, it has less pressure from the stretch that's in the knee. You'll feel more in your hip flexors. Ideally, this is a hip flexor stretch more than a quad stretch, but you're welcome to feel it in both spots. The first one we will try and do is on the chair here, but if on that chair you're having trouble getting your foot up there, you can always use a strap. You can use a band, a strap, whatever you need to do. You'll just wrap that around your foot, around your ankle, and instead of setting that foot up on the chair, you can just lift that foot up just like that. Um, I'm going to do this up on a chair, but if you want to use that strap instead, more than welcome. So as you get started, you'll have your left foot forward. Your right foot will lift up on that chair. It can be on a wall. It can be on a couch. It is called a couch stretch, so you're welcome to do that version if you want. And the first thing you want to think is to lean forward. Uh, the goal right now isn't to get your butt as close to your foot as possible. It's to be in a lean forward position right now. Tighten your stomach. Tighten your glutes. Try and keep everything nice and tight. And while you're bent forward, try and push your hips forward. And you should already feel that stretch in the hip flexor on that leg that's back. And then you want to slowly lift yourself up while bent forward, keeping that stomach tight, that butt squeezed. And be as straight and tall as you can. There's a chance you might be just a little bit lean forward, which is fine. But what you want to avoid is your butt coming all the way back to that foot with a huge arch in your back. Um, in that case, I'm feeling a ton in my quad, nothing in my hip flexor, and my back has this big arch. Um, it puts me in poor posture, and it's not stretching what I'm wanting to stretch. So instead, that butt is tight, and that stomach is tight, and I can't come quite as far back and stay in that same position. You'll find that there's a lot less arch in your back, but you're going to feel this a lot more in your hip flexor. Go ahead and switch sides. So that right foot forward in that lunge, that other leg, you're using that rolled up mat to set your knee on. And then that foot is going on the chair, it's going on a wall, wherever you might need it. And then starting in that forward position is gonna help you focus on your abs and your glutes before you actually focus on where you want your body to be. So, squeezing your stomach, squeezing your hips, pushing your hips forward, and then slowly lifting yourself up. And if you find that you're looking in a mirror um, or you find that your stomach might be arching out a little bit or your chest is lifting up towards the sky, that's a good sign that your stomach isn't as tight as it could be and your glutes probably aren't squeezed as tight as they could be. So focus again on butt tight, stomach tight, and then make your most important thing that your hips are being pushed forward and that those two things are tight. It's not about getting as far back as you can. And again, if you need to do that with a band, that's another, that's another awesome choice. When you're ready, we'll switch back to that couch stretch one more time, coming to the opposite leg. So right leg on the mat, left leg lunge forward. And this time, thinking about all those same things, butt tight, stomach tight, go ahead and lift that right arm up towards the sky. And if you can, I'll show you this way, you're trying to almost tilt to the side just a little bit you're trying to get into the psoas a little bit. Um, still feeling your hip flexors. You're still pushing those hips forward. Hips tight, stomach tight, but just that slight side bend, helping you get just another muscle in the hip flexor region involved there. But go ahead and switch sides. And again, you can still be doing this with the band if you want. On a couch. Stomach tight, hips tight, and then lifting that arm up, and almost just a slight bend to the side, trying to target your hip flexors the best you can. Four, five, four, three, two, and rest. And then our last thing we're doing here is going to be a laying butterfly stretch. So when you're ready, 
coming into that butterfly pose. Feet in close, head tall, stomach tight, and then slowly lowering your way down, keeping your legs open. You can place your hands on your knees, trying to open those up as you just lay, relax, take a few deep breaths, deep breath in, and a slow exhale out. Every exhale, see if you can sink your legs down just a little deeper. And you're just going to spend one to two minutes here. You can open your arms up to the side, get a little bit of a chest stretch, and a little more passive chest right there. Or you can place those hands on the legs, putting a little more pressure on the hips, helping stretch that out. A very common area for people to be a little tight. But spend in about one more minute there. And when you're finished, That'll be it for class. Hopefully you had fun. You enjoyed your time with me. I know I like doing this stuff, so if you have any suggestions or comments for the future, go ahead and let us know in the comments below. But glad to have you. Bye.